Karen Golden. We're at the Marine Room, and I'm with Chef Bernard Gias, Chef Ron Oliver, and Diane Stopford, who's chef and a food writer. We're here today because we're celebrating the publication of the two chefs' new book, Flying Pans, and they've kindly agreed to do uh, some videos of preparing these dishes here for us for SDNN.com. So tell us a little bit about how you came up with the idea for the book. What was the inspiration? Well, it was really interesting because I was just coming back from Singapore and I was in my office. Then Ron it was about 8, 30, 9 o'clock, something like this, came to the office and said, hey, Chef, you know, you've been traveling a lot, and which is true. And I told him, I said, um, you know, it's, I, I love to do it. He said, you know, how many countries have you been? I said, I don't know. And it was a map of the world, and I had the data. So, you know, I just looked and put and put it, and said, 40, 40 countries. So I asked him, how many? And one said, I don't know, 20, he does the same thing. Then it's in, it just tell me, say, what about if you write a cookbook? And I just immediately thought, hey, you know what, why don't we do the book together? You know, and we started mm -hmm. about two and a half years ago. We completed, we, uh, we have self-published, and we wrote all the book, and our superb, talented, genius, Gregory Bertolini is our photographer. So he's a just incredible guy. So yeah, it's been, it's been quite the journey, actually. 40 different countries, 170 recipe or so but you have recipes for um, cocktails as well because I wanted to to really make sure that uh, we would be able to take you on the journey from the time that your friends arrive and to, to all the way that when they leave because we both travel a lot but we also have one thing in common about our travel is the quality of the travel we both like to kind of immerse ourselves in the culture and meet the people of different lands. Again, it's kind of that reverse engineer of the, of the recipe. So instead of looking at a recipe and then going and finding the ingredients, you go to the farmer's market, for example, you find your ingredients first, and then you can make a recipe out of them. Mm -hmm. But you can use the recipes in the book, for example, as a guideline. So you, you take those two concepts, kind of fuse them together. So the recipe is a guideline, go to the market, see if you could find the ingredients. And if not, you might find something that you like even better or something that's more in season. Or, or any other so stuff be like spontaneous, fun. have fun, be spontaneous, enjoy have fun. what you're doing. Don't be afraid. The thing I say is everybody eats. For that reason, everyone has a natural inclination about cooking and about food. Just trust your senses. Go to the market, smell. You can smell the beautiful aromas. You can look at the beautiful colors and just trust your senses and have fun. So the book is available at uh, twochefsoneworld.com, which is our website and it's really cool because you can flip the page on it the is computer a wonderful you know it's like website, yes. Ooh, it's fun so this is what is actually the most fun for us is that you know we can send a book to you you can buy the book somewhere but what is best and what is the better really approach you can come in the marine room you have a wonderful dinner you're right on the ocean. Look at this surf, it's gorgeous. And Ron and I will sign the book as well. We will autograph it and make sure that it is for whomever you wish. But it's gonna be really great. We have a, a big book signing on October 29th. And uh, it's gonna be here at the Marino from four o'clock to seven o'clock. So come on in, little bubbles and a little trepas hors d'oeuvre and Ron and I will be hands in hands ready to sign, <laughs> sharing the love and our journey through the world of cooking and wonderful cultures of the world. Well, I say you deserve a toast and good luck with the new book. Santé! And thank you for joining us. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.